when I'm like doing photo shoots is when I see skin that's glowy, dewy, glass skin, dolphin skin, whatever else yeah. you're calling it. And the body's so dry, oh. it breaks my heart. So Helen and I have known each other a very long time. We've both been professional makeup artists for a long time. Long time. We've worked alongside each other for about for like 13, 13 years. Yeah, 13 years. And one of my favorite, <laughs> no, oh, we're grannies. Like, uh, <laughs> one of my favorite things is looking into Helen's kit and seeing what she has, like what she's really loving, what tinted moisturizer she's into, um, what pigment she's currently using. And she does the same with me. So we're gonna share with you some of our must have. She has some like tips for me that she hasn't even showed me. So I'm very I'm excited about that. But yeah. Yeah, some, some great things for you all, whether you're a makeup enthusiast, a makeup professional, or just someone who likes to, you know, learn the, the tricks of the trade. All right, so let's dive into the thing that I feel like mm -hmm. everybody always talked about when we were learning makeup is skin prep. Skin prep, skin prep. Mm -hmm. If your palette doesn't look good, your makeup's not gonna look good. So this is the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask, and this has quickly become one of my favorites. It doesn't have a color to it. It plumps with a little bit of menthol. It is super hydrating. Mm -hmm. It's and great for... It makes the lips look smoother. Yes, like when it's, so smooth. Yeah. That's really key. I feel like we're always trying to add tons of hydration, create the smoothest palette possible. If you have yes. to change the lip color a lot, this is great for that. It's like an easy touch up in between. Because one of the most important things, or one of the first things I learned when I joined the Sephora Pro Artistry team, if you only have 10 minutes to do makeup, sometimes even five, still spend like 20% of your time hydrating the skin. If you have to choose between like a great eye and maybe your foundation doesn't look so good because it's a little bit dehydrated or great skin foundation laying perfectly and like eyeliner that's a little wonky, you're gonna choose that like great hydrated skin every time. So yeah. um, prep is like 50% of our job for sure. Truly. Okay, so I think this is kind of universal for makeup artistry. The pet peeve that I have, especially when I'm like doing photo shoots is when I see skin that's glowy, dewy, glass skin, dolphin skin, whatever else yeah. you're calling it. And the body's so dry, oh. it breaks my heart. Mixed textures. Yeah, mi yeah. I don't like Discrepancies. that. Discrepancies, don't like it. <laughs> One of my favorite things to use is SPF body oil. So it's smart. like my little secret because SPF um, reflects ever so slightly, so it makes you look glowy and luminous, but there's no flashback because it's oil, so it's translucent, it's transparent. This is from K Skin. This is the IO Body Oil SPF 30. If you know anything about K Skin, Winnie Harlow being the founder, she's a model and she needs to wear SPF protection. She does a lot of like photo shoots outside and stuff, so it's no flashback. She looks gorgeous. Like just cover yourself head to toe in this. And the fact that it won't transfer on anything, there's no That's makeup, great. there's no shimmer. Shimmer can look like sparkly dandruff. I've seen it, I've done shoots, I'm so excited to see. Yeah. Sparkly dandruff. And I'm like, oh no. So look into an SPF body oil, you have to wear it anyway. I just love glow. Glow, hi glowy hydrating skin makes your work look better and people feel really good. So my favorite thing to get, I call it like rich lady skin, luxurious oh, skin. I love that. Oh, it's so good. So this is straight from my kit. It's all Char Char Tailberry. Sorry, we call her Char Char in private. <laughs> All Charlotte Tilbury, you can you can see now, Flawless Filter. Flawless Filter so is good. amazing. If you ever see an editorial shoot and the, the model just looks like they have bare skin, but it almost looks like it's that nice little glow or sweat after a workout, but beautiful. Yeah, this athletic is this skin. Athletic so. skin for sure. This is what it does. Let's see. Let's get a deeper color so you can really see it on my skin. Uh, this is shade five. This is so, so this gives you the most beautiful glow. It's not a foundation. It's like a complexion booster or enhancer. Yeah, I think when I saw it at first, I was like, oh, there's so many shades. It's a foundation. You yeah. Like, no, it's not. You can see how reflective and beautiful that is. Oh, it looks so good. It just, it just gives you this beautiful look. If you have freckles, I've used this on uh, models with freckles before. It just beautifully evens out their skin and gives it a glow. It just looks cohesive under makeup, on top of it, mixed into. Like, it's one of my favorite things. I don't think I ever do any makeup without this. Any skin type. I it's love that. It's amazing. And we need to get more. Yes. Now they have even more shades than you have to get, but I love it. That's amazing. Well, mm -hmm. I have definitely used that product before, yes. and I used it with this brush that you know that I use for everything. I'm yeah. like, oh, just get get the number 98 brush. <laughs> 98 brush. Wait, where is it? 
<laughs> oh, it's here, it's here. Oh my god. I fully panicked. I was like, wait, I have 18 like, of these. Like, no one's I have it. hundreds of these that in my kit. It's stupid so how many. Bad. This is the number 98 brush. I use it for pretty much everything. You can set your under eye with it. You can apply foundation with it. You kind can of highlighter. Highlighter. Yeah. I've done like a full eye look with this by like pinching the edges on mm -hmm. set. You know, I don't have time doing like little extended eye lift look. It's just, it does everything. I love like a small to medium sized brush mm -hmm. and it just works really well for blending. I have there's so, so many, many uses if, for yeah. this brush. <laughs> if you didn't know, like when uh, pretty much like any brushes that have come out in the past like 10 years at Sephora, like we've tested personally and said like, we like this, we don't like this. Like, you know, my eyes are small, my eyes are large. This works really well for makeup artistry. So like all the brushes that you see that's a part of the Sephora collection range are all tested by us. I still have some yeah. that still have like the like lab number the on lab them number that I like, like absolutely printed. love. I'm like, these are amazing. I love them. So even don't pay attention to the name, just use it for whatever. Use it for whatever. That's yeah. what I do with this. I truly use it for everything. Mm -hmm. And I like it because it can really like fit in to like the nooks and crannies of your face, mm -hmm. you know, wherever you want it to go. So good. I think one of the big things when you're shooting is like, oh, they look shiny and it's like truly like just a little spot there. Then I'm only going to, you know, mattify that area. I wouldn't do like a dusting everywhere. So mm -hmm. I feel like this really helps with strategic powdering and just anything really. You know, like, I'm just mm -hmm. like, like this. Mm -hmm. So nice. Okay. So, oh, I have... I I just I love this next thing. I know you love it too. Oh, it's Danessa, just it's I see it. I'm absolute right. must have for anybody's kit. Um, when you have a kit, like if we had my actual kit, like it's over there somewhere, it's like 60 pounds. It's yeah. heavy. And I have a smaller kit that I have to use when I'm traveling. And you have to have things where you can think on your feet. Like my worst fear is not having mustard yellow lipstick if a client requests it, I need to be able to make it. These are from Danessa Myricks and these are the color fix pigments. Now, when you're deciding what to get, if you're someone who wants to be able to have like endless possibilities, I suggest getting primary colors, your yellow, your red, your blue, if you know anything about color theory. And if you don't, you can you know easily look it up. There's so many resources. You can mix any color you want. Remember and we had to do that challenge where we had to literally like create foundation. Now it's like coming out that a lot of people are doing that, but I think it's so funny because we definitely had a challenge. A little bit we about our, yeah, segue <laughs> into our history. When we were on the pro artistry team, we had to do these auditions so we had to do these ridiculous, not ridiculous, because they were like, they, they were challenging in a good way. Like these challenges where we had to like mix our own foundations from pigments. We had to do a smoky eye with a cotton bud and lipstick. I would say once you have your primary colors, you can make anything you want and then you add in a black and a white so you yeah. can shade and tint it into like whatever intensity you want to. And then I would say get a glitter. Get a glitter. So you can change the finish. Get <laughs> Are you a nice solution everything? Get glitter. Get a glitter. Yeah, that's also like a pro tip. Like <laughs> if uh, you make a mistake, just put glitter on it because the camera can't capture the mistake. It it's just true. looks glowy and beautiful. Yeah. But I absolutely love these. I'm so happy we have these pigments because I could just carry this yeah. and mascara. You could do so much with that. I'm good to go. You can mix it into foundation. To You can use it as color corrector. Mix it with oil. Mix it with serum. Do whatever you want. All right. I'm so glad you brought your Danessa pigments because I have a personalized palette for you. I don't know what it is, but I want to buy it. I, Sephora, Collection, <laughs> Sephora Collection makes this amazing supplement case, and what looks like a supplement case to you is actually a personalized palette for your model. So I love this because it has obviously an area where you can mix shades together yeah. if you want, but I like it because I can put like lip balm in here, their lipstick touch up, um, maybe their like cheek color, if they have some yeah. kind of like a cream cheek color. Um, I even put powder in there sometimes. It's just a really great, thing to have on set Instead that's individualized holding, like, to your model. Six things. And, yes. Yeah. And yeah. you have a million like little, you know, palettes or whatever, mm -hmm. million little lipsticks like rolling around in your touch-up kit. It's just so much easier to have this with that's... you. So I just really love this. And you know, let's just show show yeah. the people how it works. Mixing. I really love it. If you don't have pink cream eyeshadow, guess what? Guess what? Now you do. Now you do. You can yeah. even create a pink cheek color. All right, let's do that. So you do a tiny bit of red. And then, you know, more white or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then just mix it up until you get the shade you want. And that's like a great, mm -hmm. a great color that you could easily throw on a model to like on their cheeks to get it to be like a really rosy cheek color. And if you're doing underpainting, you know, that's a really like 
nice technique too if you want to throw. Yeah, and the when you're an artist, like not having something, at least for me, I get so nervous. You're good. This is so smart. This is so smart, and I do feel like it's changed my life because I feel like I have multiple models on set a yeah, lot. Yeah, like everyone gets a row. And look, it doesn't, when you close it, this is the best part, it does not touch like these things. So you're not like, oh. it's not mucking up the rest of the. Yeah, you could thing. like. That's so smart. It's really great. Oh, I love this. It's a game changer. All right, well, I feel like we could talk endlessly about yes. kits and makeup and just dive right into it again and again. Yeah. Um, if you love anything from your kit and you really want to share, please let us know. We love hearing about new products. It mm -hmm. is we will buy our passion. It. We're not even joking. <laughs> we, we will get so interested in and buy it. So as always, if you want to uh, look at any of the products that we talked about today, you can shop the shelf below. They're all listed there. And I feel like we need to do another one of these. If you want to see another one, let us know because this was so much fun. So much so, fun. Bye.